sacrifice. It comes in varying degrees. We were expected to put our lives on the line on the battlefield, but we never expected it in the facilities of a military training base. If you were stationed at Camp Lejeune from the 1950s to the late 1980s and contracted cancer and other serious diseases due to contaminated drinking water, it's our duty to sound off and let the world know about how you or a loved one was injured by the water at Camp Lejeune. Using your smartphone camera, scan the code or click the link on this webpage to easily record a video of yourself. We want victims of water contamination and their loved ones to speak from the heart. Just give us your first name and tell us what happened to you. Don't hold back on emotions or your story. Describe your injury and how it made you feel, especially considering your dedication to the Marine Corps and to our nation. The long-lasting effects of water contamination have become more and more apparent and continue to plague our nation to this day. Do your part by making your voice heard, as these men and women have done. Hi, my name is Helen, and I worked at Camp Lejeune as an office worker for about 10 years that ended in 1985. I was motivated to work for the Corps in an attempt to honor my brother who I lost in Vietnam, really close to the end of the war. My husband and I did want to have children, but I had a string of miscarriages during that time that I was at Camp Lejeune. And now looking back, after hearing stories, horror stories from veterans and their families, it just still hurts. My name is Jim. I was the Chief Warrant Officer in the Marine Corps, stationed at Camp Lejeune in 1979. I recently was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, and I don't have a history of cancer in my family. I gave the best years of my life to the Marine Corps, and I did not deserve for this to happen. Those that were at the camp did not deserve to have this happen to them as well. I will die for my country. I still am willing to, but not in this way. Our brothers and sisters in arms are counting on you to spread the word about Camp Lejeune water contamination to help support others affected. Even if you were not injured at Camp Lejeune, but are a veteran of the United States Armed Forces, please record a video of yourself to give your moral support to those affected by this terrible situation. Your words of encouragement will start the healing process and make sure that elected officials never waver in their support of victims' rights. On this page, you will find a list of cancers and other serious health conditions attributed to contaminated water. This public service project is sponsored and operated by the law firm of Weitz & Luxembourg, who is representing Camp Lejeune water contamination victims and represents over 20,000 military veterans from all across the United States in many litigations and has significant national leadership experience in litigating environmental damages, asbestos injuries, and defective drugs and medical devices. Please contact the firm if you are interested in having a confidential and no obligation consultation about your potential claim by calling our toll-free number at 1-877-MARINES. That's 1-877-MARINES.